This video is to show you how to set the needle and thread a Singer commercial embroidery machine model 114W103. To start, we've got our needle shaft. Now these needles are threaded, so you need a pair of pliers to insert your needle. Make sure you have the correct needle for the correct nipple. Now, the important thing is on the needle, if you can see here, try to do this with two hands, at the tip, there's a hook. Okay, now the opening of this hook has to face forward on the machine towards you. Uh, if, you're, if your needle doesn't have that hook, put a new needle in. Uh, to do this, basically you have your handle. I have this out of the table. It makes it a little easier to show. Pull the handle towards you. And you want to make sure that your nipple is in an upright position. So rotate the machine so it's upright. If it's not, pull down on this handle. It engages the machine internally. Get your nipple in the highest point. Lift up your presser foot and take whatever type fabric you're using. Put that under the presser foot. And then, like I mentioned, on the needle, you've got your, your opening for the loop. And that's going to be facing you. So you go down through the top of the machine here. There's a little uh, thumb screw. And like I said, keep this handle pulled forward. It's for a reference. So you know where your needle's sitting. And then basically you just run it all the way down to your fabric. Okay, now here we're doing now we're doing a close-up. You can see my needle coming through the nipple, and you can see the hook on the end. Pressing down on the fabric, and you want to pull it up, just elevate it above the fabric, not by a whole lot. But enough, the larger the gap, the bigger your loop's going to be. Then you tighten down the thumb screw on the top. Now I'm going to show you for threading the machine. Look under your table for a series of loops that are coming from the spool because the machine stitches at 600 stitches a minute. Uh, it's fairly fast, so you, you don't need any restriction on your thread. But so however your, the under your table is with the loops, you're going to be coming in from this this little flip tab. Let's see a little better there. And you're going to come in from the back side of it. And hopefully this thread's bright enough that you can see. Okay. So I'm coming up through the hole. And I'm coming over top the tension in between both tension discs. And then I'm going to pull it forward towards the front of the machine. The front of the machine is this way. And you can see there's a, a tension spring here. Now this has a, a little loop through it. So basically you're going to take your thread and then go forward with it and then into the loop. So when you pull when it gets pulled up, your spring pulls up so it gives some tension. And you'll have to play with your your thread tension uh, adjustment here for getting a good stitch. Okay, so this is the tool used for threading the machine. This also has a little loop on it, and you're gonna come down through the top of the plate, but it comes in through the bottom of this hole. Now when you're when you're doing this on your machine you want to turn the knob slightly to the left. Uh, it aligns it inside the, um, the spider so you can come through and I'll show you I'll show you the two two ways going through but move it a little and sometimes you have to play with it a little till you feel it get in that hole and then I will show you down here you can see it's coming through uh, this is curved and indexed so basically you take your your thread hold it on there 
So you're pulling the thread up in, and then I'll show you what it looks like from the top. Here on top of the machine, on your plate, you've got a large hole in front, and then your series of inner holes, which are variable sizes, depending on the uh, fabric you're using, or the, the size needle and thread. So we want to take our, our threader, and we go down and we go into this Go into the top and down in the front hole. So then you got to make sure, like I said, you turn the handle to the left a little. Sometimes you have to jiggle it uh, to get lined up so you're down through your hole. And just like before, I was showed you under the machine. Right now I'm hooking my thread onto it and pulling up. So I bring the thread up through the machine. So now when you go to stitch we'll get our, our foot up. You hold your thread forward and then cycle the machine pulling the, the, the uh, balance wheel towards you. And you can see we hooked our we hooked our thread. And then from there it would just be a matter of sliding our our fabric under, putting the presser foot down, and then we're good to go. So remember when you're doing the machine, pulling down this handle will engage it once your motor's spinning, you're all up to speed. And that should do it. Hopefully this isn't too confusing, but it's a uh Machine's a little complex, but it does uh, it does a great job.